Hola guys, happy Monday. Um, I was getting ready for bed and I can't get comfortable enough because I wanted to come on and talk to you guys for a little bit about some very random things that are going on for the last <clears throat> couple days. Um, and I'm not going to get all spiritual or philosophical or anything like that, but <clears throat> I just wanted to come on and see if you guys have ever experienced anything like this because it's neat, but the timing is so weird and I don't understand the connection. So let me just get into it. Okay, so <clears throat> if you guys have watched the last few videos I put up, you all are aware that... Um, one of my closest friends growing up, um, through school passed away on March 31st and <clears throat> I hadn't seen him face to face in over 30 years, but we had been chatting and, um, visiting through Facebook, him and my life, me and his life. And, uh, but we had yet to physically speak. It was either, um, like I said, messaging or just little blurbs on Facebook. Well, he's a con was a contractor. He has his own business. And months ago, I had inquired about a possible estimate on my roof. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, if you guys have been with me a while, y'all remember me telling you that I had three outlets in the kitchen that went, <clears throat> and uh, I kind of had my refrigerator catty cornered, connected to the opposite wall. Well, your girl is a procrastinator, <clears throat> and I figured as long as my fridge was on, whatever, I wasn't going to be in any kind of rush <clears throat> to get the outlets checked out. That's just my nature. I'm just that way. But um, after I got the pipes fixed outside, I really started taking inventory of everything that the house needs. So about three weeks before my friend passed, I sent him another message and I asked him uh, for, I, I wanted a top to bottom estimate on the house from roof <clears throat> to plumbing, excuse me, to the electrical outlets. I just needed a lot of work done on the house and I was ready to do it. So uh, this was about three weeks before he passed and he said, I will uh, try and get a crew together he goes give me give me a couple days and I will get a crew together um <clears throat> I probably won't be able to get out there with them but I will definitely swing by and visit and we can catch up he goes let me know when you'll be available and I'll be working on getting crew together for an estimate I said okay this was <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I had jello and apparently it's not agreeing with me um it was three weeks before he passed okay and then he passed away and I hadn't given him an exact day as when I wanted anybody out there and we hadn't touched base again as far as whether he had a crew ready and available to come out and give me a top to bottom estimate. Um, and I had been thinking about that a whole lot since he passed. I was like, I was this close to possibly having seen him before he died and it was weighing heavy on me because, you know, I'll never see him again. And the day after he passed, the, the day after he passed, I had a dream. And I was in my living room and I kind of glanced out the door onto my sidewalk and he was standing there. And I remember he had on <clears throat> white jeans, cowboy boots, a white button down and a tan color belt. I remember the details and it was him standing at the, the front, the beginning of my walkway. And I looked up and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, you know. And I go to the door and I open the door and he's smiling. Like I remember him smiling and then I woke up and I thought that was strange enough, but I had been thinking so hard about, I missed my chance to see him and we were supposed to get together for estimate. We we're supposed to get together to catch up. And I had been thinking about that heavily so that I just figured that's why it played into my dream. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm not going to get all ooh, or anything like that, but you guys, 
Okay, check out what happened. Uh, this weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I can't remember what day it was. It was probably Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Um, <clears throat> out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I get the idea to clean my, to clean little dude's gaming consoles. And I dust him and did the little air blower, um, getting all the dust out of his Xboxes and stuff like that. And then I'm sanitizing his wipes, uh, his sanitizing the controllers with wipes. And I opened the cartridge to a few of them, the battery cartridge to two of the three that he has. And there was some corrosion on there and they weren't working right. And I'm like, well, let me go on ahead and get the vinegar out and go ahead and clean the corrosion because vinegar cleans rust and corrosion battery acid corrosion off of the little metal parts and I have done it before but I hadn't done it in a while and that was just random in itself the fact that I was home and out of nowhere I get the idea to clean his console and his controllers um so I climb up to the top of the stove the little cabinet above the stove which um in cases one of the outlets has stopped working and I'm up there digging around and I see the outlet and I'm like stupid outlet don't friggin' work. I was ready to get you fixed, and oh, now I'm gonna have to go with a whole nother company and do all that. And I'm thinking all this, right? So I grab the vinegar, <clears throat> and something tells me to the the hood with the light and the vent is connected to that plug, and something just told me to wiggle it. So I wiggled it, and the fan came on scared the snot out of me mind you i'm standing on a chair because i have to stand on a chair to access the cabinet over the stove the fan came on scared the crap out of me i'm like what you mean to tell me this whole time i just had to wiggle the friggin plug and my vent hood was gonna work so then i flick on the light bulb and the light bulb works i'm like shut up so i go and get the can opener the electric can opener and i try the socket on the counter and it works and then i try the socket the outlet where the fridge used to originally be plugged in and it works you guys all of my outlets are working again and i have checked the breaker box i've wiggled and unwiggled and plugged and unplugged and had the microwave the refrigerator open the vent -a hood the oven on all at the same time to see if it was going to trip something maybe there is still something electrical going on in there i'm not saying there isn't something electrical going on in there but everything is working now so i'm like could it be a little gift from my friend? <laughs> a little something something from God? I don't know. I don't want to get over the top with it. But I feel how I feel. And I'm just like, that. the timing of it is so weird, right? And, and how it happened is so weird. I just decided I was going to use vinegar to clean out these controllers. And I happen to be in the cabinet that happens to be at the outlet that went out and the, the timing of it all was just so weird is and I had been thinking that I'm gonna have to you know get a whole new contractor you know to come out here and do I really want to do that and this refrigerator is gonna be stuck in the middle of the floor forever now and you know because I really trusted my friend I wanted I was gonna I didn't expect anything for free but I trusted him to have his company come out and do it so that was one thing okay and then today, I'm at work, and during lunch, I'm scrolling through Facebook, which is the only time that I can get online, which is why, and I know I'm digressing, but which is why I haven't responded to the comments on the last three or four videos, because at my last job, I used to, at lunch, get on Facebook. This hospital has Facebook completely blocked off, and then once I get home, I'm on, not Facebook, YouTube. Um, <clears throat> um, those types of things, like, where you can really get into, they're blocked. So I haven't been able to get online and do my comments and stuff. And then when I get home, I'm on, I'm on mommy duty. And then it's 11, 12 o'clock and <sighs> here I am. But anywho, what was I going with that? Oh, so I went on Facebook and Melinda, if y'all been with me a while, you know, that's my best friend who passed from COVID <sighs> a little over a year ago. Um, her husband posted a picture of him and their little boy. And I looked at their little boy and I was like, oh my gosh, he doesn't have a baby face anymore. He's growing into his big boy face. 
And I got kind of emotional about that and then started thinking about him as a baby. And then I started thinking about my kids as babies. And then I started thinking about all the years between uh, and how Melinda was in my life with my kids and I was in her life with her kids. And I got to thinking about my kids as babies and how they've changed so much. And they went from, you know, chubby little fat babies. I just, I'm, I had babies on the brain. I had my kids on my mind. And I came home. And again, random, you guys, random. I'd made dinner and I got home early because I didn't stop off at any thrift stores or anything. A random idea popped into my head. Why don't you clean out the bottom of the sink? I'm sure there's lots of cleaning products in there that probably aren't good anymore. You know, there's stuff down there that you tried and you didn't like. Just go ahead and clean out the bottom of the kitchen sink. Just get rid of all the crap you don't want. So I cleared out the entire sink and... There was a little plastic bag at the back, pushed to the very back of the sink. And when I pulled it out, guys, it was something that I thought had been long lost. Something that I have lamented for like two years about, you guys. And it's this. It's this little thing. Okay? You guys, this thing... I thought I lost two years ago. And when I tell you, I would think about it and cry because this little thing right here has all of little dude's NICU videos, NICU pictures, his first steps, his first birthday, my videos of little dude and big dude playing together through the years as they grew up. This little thing has all of that in there. And I used to protect this so, so, so much, but I ended up putting it in the junk drawer in a little plastic bag for safekeeping because I, y'all know me, I buy stuff and then I switch, switch out things and I had it in a little trinket box and I was so scared of losing it by swapping out so many knickknacks that I put it in a little plastic bag in my junk drawer and my junk drawer apparently implodes or explodes every couple months I just have so much crap in there and stuff will slide out y'all know what I'm talking about like stuff will slide behind the cabinet or on the side of the cabinet and it'll end up on the bottom with my plasticware or in this case it slid out by the sink I mean through the gap under the sink you guys I plugged it into my computer and I'm going through it and I'm looking at all these videos and I'm caught in nostalgia and I am so grateful and I just keep telling God thank you thank you thank you for the randomness of this as well. I mean, like I said, random thought, clean out your sink. And I find this random thought, get out the vinegar to clean some controllers and the electricity comes back on in my outlets. It's like very strange, the things that are happening and I'm grateful for it. And they're nice little surprises, but has, has anything like that ever happened to you guys? Have you all ever encountered or experienced something and you're like, hmm? Because it's just so weird. It's been in the last couple days. Sunday, Saturday or Sunday with the outlets. And then today with this. like, And all because of random choices that I'm making. It's just weird. If I had not grabbed that vinegar, I would never have known that my outlets were okay. If I hadn't been digging around under the sink, I probably wouldn't have found this for another whole year. But... It's just weird that I was thinking so much about having to find a new contractor and having missed my opportunity to see my friend. Um, and then I see him in a dream and then my electricity works. And then today thinking about Melinda and reminiscing in my head and my heart about my kids being little and infants and little dude in the NICU and all of that stuff. And I find the NICU videos and pictures. It's just it's 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 bizarre have y'all ever experienced anything like that where you were just like what because that's what i'm going through right now it's a good thing but now i'm kind of paranoid because and this is just my nature i don't trust being happy i don't trust good luck because it never lasts something always comes up behind it but i'm just like should I start thinking about lottery winnings or something? Should I start thinking that it would be wonderful if I won the lottery so that I could and then I 
randomly what I don't know find a ticket or I don't I don't know you know what I'm not even gonna jinx whatever this is whatever this is it's just so random and so weird but so neat at the same time I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys um I know it's different than other stuff but yeah I was just laying here I'm telling you, I'm getting a little nervous about what's next, but a little excited at the same time. And then not for nothing, just grateful. Just grateful that things are working out pretty darn cool in the last few days. But I'm going to lie down. I am hopefully going to be able to uh, sleep some and uh, get up and get Tuesday started. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Monday. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Weather's supposed to get kind of funky here today. I mean, tomorrow and Wednesday. So wherever you guys are, I hope you all are safe. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to come on and say. Has it ever happened to y'all? And I promise I will do my darndest to get on and respond to any comments you guys leave, especially on this video, because I am. I am so, so curious and I love to hear people's stories. And I'm just so curious about what you guys might say about this video or about your own experiences so i'll do my darndest if i have to make a little bit of time and just get online here at home so i can comment back to all the videos comments that i haven't been able to respond to just yet but hope you guys have a great sleep or a great morning or whenever you guys watch this i hope you all have a wonderful day and until my next go around i love y'all bunches